So what's so special about scandium and zinc? And in fact, the ions of the elements directly below them as well. Well, let's look at the shortened electronic configuration. Scandium is argon 4s2 3d1, and zinc is argon 4s2 3d10. Now, each of them only have one ion that's stable. Scandium's 3 plus. Take off those three electrons there. And notice that there are now no electrons in the d orbitals, which means no colored compounds. And there is no variable oxidation number. Scandium can only be 3 plus. Now, it's the movement of electrons in the d orbitals, which are of, of uh, energetically similar nature, that causes the traditional properties of the uh, transition metals. And neither scandium or zinc ions have electron movement in the d orbital. The electrons can't move up or down because it's either full or it's empty, the d orbital. So you're not going to get the classic transition metal properties of colored compounds and multiple oxidation states and catalysis.